Welcome to the 2022 Marshall Space Flight Center Honor Awards. Now, here's our center director, Jody Singer. Thank you and welcome to the 2022 Marshall Space Flight Center Annual Honors Award. It is such a privilege to be here to recognize so many of you today. This is one of my favorite kind of events. Those of you receiving awards today represent the very best of Marshall's commitment to the NASA mission. It is always extra special when we can shine the spotlight on team members for their great work. Because of our people are the most important part of what we do. And you, our people, are the heart and soul of Marshall Space Flight Center. And for all the family members and friends joining us today, I want you to know that you are a vital part of our honoree's accomplishments. You are all an important part of our honoree's success. This year's theme is Marshall, launching NASA into the future, to the moon and beyond. I love the theme as we continue to work with a new center strategy, expand our partners and grow our mission portfolio. We are really launching NASA into the future. And all of the work we have been doing is preparing Marshall and NASA for a spectacular future, putting the first woman and person of color on the moon and more. And we can't do this without you and the work you do as a team. One of my top priorities when I became center director is to ensure our workforce is prepared to meet the need of the coming decades, as well as inspire future generations. And hearing all about what you have achieved in these awards makes me feel confident about meeting that goal. Your work and dedication make it possible for the Marshall and the agency to reach our goals of exploration and discovery for the benefit of all. Again, thank you so much for all you do. Now we're going to hear the national anthem sung by Renata America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the realm parts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Renata. That was beautiful. It is now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker. Reed Wiseman currently serves as the chief of the astronaut office. He is a retired U.S. Navy captain and a native of Baltimore, Maryland. He spent 165 days aboard the International Space Station as part of Expeditions 40 and 41 in 2014. Reed and his crew set a milestone for station science by completing a record 82 hours of research in a single week. This was also Reed's first space flight which included almost 13 hours as a lead spacewalker during two trips outside the orbital complex. Before he became chief of the astronaut office, Wiseman supported the astronaut office in several roles, including deputy chief astronaut and associate director of the Flight Operations Directorate. We are so glad to have him as our keynote speaker for this event. Please help me welcome 
Astronaut Chief Reed Wiseman. Jody, thank you so much for inviting me to speak to the Marshall Space Flight Center family for this important event. I really appreciate the invite. Marshall Space Flight Center is critical to the success and overall mission for NASA. With the space launch system being managed there, all employees must be extremely proud. So many organizations at the center have played a critical role in support of SLS, as well as so many other key aspects of NASA's overall mission. From the engineering directorate to all of the mission support organizations, Marshall Space Flight Center comes together as a team to succeed for this agency that we all love. I wanna take a few minutes to congratulate the individual recipients today and the groups that have earned this recognition. All recipients are a credit to our NASA family and the Marshall Space Flight Center truly is lifting us to the moon and beyond. I don't know how many of you had an opportunity to head over to Kennedy Space Center while Artemis One was on the pad. Seeing that vehicle, day or night, near or far, looking at everything that has gone into that. When I look at the Artemis One stack on the pad, that orange core stage, the solids on the side, the ICPS, the Orion, the launch abort system, there, there are so many emotions that flood me. First, I just think about the legacy. You know, we, we started with Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Skylab, Shuttle is deeply rooted into most of you at Marshall. Moving on to our commercial crew program and now uh, the Artemis program. When I look at that, I just look at the legacy. That's kind of my first reaction when I see the stack on the pad. But then as I think about it a little bit more, I really think about, as a 46-year-old American, I just think about the people that have gone into this program, people who have dedicated their entire lives to space exploration, and for me specifically, human exploration. I think about all the work that goes on every day at Marshall, every day at Johnson, every day at Michoud, at Glenn, all over our country. I mean, you guys really, there at Marshall, you are the ones that are powering this mission. You are powering us off the planet, powering us to low Earth orbit, powering us out to the moon and on to Mars. It's absolutely awe-inspiring to think about the work that you do, to think about the safety culture, the protocols that you go through, just to keep the little humans on top of that vehicle safe. So that's really my second thing when I look at SLS is just thinking of the people, the dedication, the families, what your children have given up so that you can go to work every day and work on this magnificent program. But the third thing that I, that I think of when I see it is I think of this rocket as the absolute definition of the direction that our nation is going in, that our agency is going in, that our exploration programs are going in. You look at the Space Launch System, a single element sitting out there on the pad, but really step back and think about what that represents, what the work that you do every day represents. What does your career represent? And to me, it is the North Star of our entire nation. It is all of the commercial industries coming along, working behind us with the human landers, with Orion, with Blue Origin, with SpaceX, with Northrop, with Lockheed, with Boeing, with everybody, all coming together to point in one direction, out towards the moon and then onto Mars. That, to me, is what that core stage really represents. It represents everything our agency is striving to achieve. It represents the direction. It represents everything our country stands for. So as we sit here tonight and, and honor the awardees, I want all of you to kind of take a deep breath and exhale, just relax for a second and think, the work you do every day is powering us off of our planet and it is pointing our nation in a better direction. Thank you and have a great night. Three, two, one, fire.
what an amazing video. I am so proud of everyone's commitment to the Artemis mission and to furthering space exploration. I want to thank everyone for their never-ending support as we work together to launch Artemis One. You know, the best part of working at Marshall is the people. I think you've proven that time and time again over the last few years. We've overcome a lot of challenges and still we keep pushing forward to achieve the impossible. We talk about agility a lot here at Marshall. It's an important strength to have as a center and throughout the workforce. The agility, dedication, and commitment you bring to your work make it so we can continue to meet our mission. And I know it is that agility, excellence, and more that brought you here today for these honors. Our center is incredibly lucky to have each one of you. On behalf of the Marshall Leadership Team, let me say just how appreciative we are of what you do. And I know you will keep up the great work into the future. So continue to take care of yourselves mentally and physically, and let's all pause and take a moment to celebrate your achievements. And now, for the reason we are all watching today, the awards. Again, congratulations to you all, and keep up the good work. Director's Commendation Honor Award. The Director's Commendation Honor Award is the Center Director's Award, and therefore the highest award given at Marshall Space Flight Center. It is awarded to an individual whose job performance and or special accomplishments merit recognition, where other avenues of recognition simply are not sufficient. Rafiq Ahmed. For outstanding commitment and support of the Commercial Crew Program, as Subset Manager for Dry Structures. Katrine Balch, for significant and sustained contributions as Program Coordinator and Communications Integrator for the Technology Demonstration Missions Program Office. Michelle Barnett, for exemplary leadership in the development, assembly, integration, and testing of sample cartridge assemblies and the associated ISS payloads. Sean Benson, for outstanding leadership in providing expertise and support to center programs, projects, and research activities to ensure compliance with U.S. export laws and regulations. Joel Best, for exceptional operations engineering in support of Artemis I mission readiness. Jeremy Broadway for exceptional leadership in Marshall Space Flight Center's formulation and support to the nation's on-orbit servicing and manufacturing architecture concepts and technology development. Wesley Brown, for providing stellar software safety expertise in performing technical tasks, ensuring the safe and successful functionality of the SLS Integrated Avionics and Test Facility. Amy Cardno. For outstanding leadership of the Space Launch System Integrated Avionics and Software Test Team for the Artemis One Test Program in the Systems Integration Laboratory. Jonathan Carmen, for outstanding leadership, technical diligence, and accomplishments serving as the Propulsion Thrust Vector Control Subsystem Manager supporting the Commercial Crew Program. Richard Cooper, for exemplary technical contributions and team leadership in thermal vacuum testing at the Marshall Space Flight Center. John Craig, for outstanding contributions and resource management support to the Office of the Chief Financial Officer and Safety and Mission Assurance Business Office. Jonathan Deal, for exceptional executive communication support to the Marshall leadership during a period of intense and persistent demands. Henry Dennis, for exceptional leadership and diligence in the development and approval of the RS-25 launch commit criteria for the Artemis I launch. Jared Durvin, for transforming risks into opportunities and leading the technical development of the Solar Cruiser Flight Experiment proposal through competition to project award. Curtis Dietz, for outstanding contributions to the development and test of the Imaging X-Ray Polymetry Explorer Science Operations Center software. Sherry Erskine, 
for significantly contributing to and yielding superior quality results in the resources management function for the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer program. Lawrence Foreman for exceptional contributions to the advancement and environmental control and life support systems in support of the International Space Station and exploration missions. Gregory Frady, for the outstanding leadership in both the long-range planning and short-term execution of the flight systems team's duties. Melissa Garber, for outstanding commitment and dedication to ensuring successful ground support for all Huntsville Operations Support Center missions. Marissa Garcia, for outstanding leadership as test requester during Dynetics Thrust Chamber Assembly Test Campaign while actively promoting NASA diversity and inclusion through mentoring. Daryl Gilliam, for providing the highest caliber of battery technical expertise to resolve critical issues and challenges vital to ensure the success of the SLS and science missions. John Green, for exceptional leadership, commitment, and extensive collaboration in supporting the Center Master Plan for Marshall Space Flight Center's mission. Dennis Harris, for outstanding leadership resulting in the successful development of multiple lunar surface instrument and technology payloads flying on the 19D CLPS mission. Joshua Harrison, for outstanding support to the Office of the Chief Information Officer, Budget Integration and Analysis Office. James Hawkins, for outstanding engineering effort in developing and releasing Marshall Space Flight Center Standard 3744 baselining the structural design and testing of solid rocket motors. Aaron Hayward, for outstanding leadership in space environmental effects testing and spacecraft contamination control. Andrew Hyatt, for substantial improvements in the thermal fluids analysis process for the Space Launch System Booster Project. Timothy Horvath, for exceptional leadership in guiding a multilateral team in the creation of utilization processes with innovative strategies for enabling research on board the Gateway. Felix Lopez, for outstanding leadership and thermal discipline technical contributions to the Mars Ascent Vehicle Project and Mars Ascent Vehicle Integrated System Source Evaluation Team. Daniel Mailman for continual outstanding support to the Office of the Chief Financial Officer and the Center Executive Leadership Team. Nathan Marchman, for exceptional engineering performance in support of the Marshall Space Flight Center's roadway self-propelled modular transporters for the Space Launch System core stage. Neil Martin, for excellence in the development, leadership, and coordination of Marshall Space Flight Center science mission proposals and associated science line of business processes. Jennifer McNeese, for outstanding budgetary analysis, integration, and customer support to the Human Landing System Program. Dwight Mosby, for outstanding leadership and exceptional achievement to Marshall Space Flight Center during the pandemic and a critical time of transformational change to NASA's work environment. Andrew Peffer, for exceptional performance in support of science spaceflight missions that span the full portfolio of the agency's science goals. Robin Pinson, for outstanding leadership and excellent technical support for the Space Launch System Vehicle Management Discipline. Matthew Pruitt, for exceptional dedication and leadership in leading the Near-Earth Asteroid Scout Engineering Team to hardware completion and delivery for Artemis One. Laura Richardson, for exceptional performance and implementing process improvements as Configuration and Data Management Lead. Preston Smouch, for exceptional service and diligence in improving Marshall Space Flight Center's Space Act Agreement process. Michael Selby, for exceptional leadership resulting in the successful development of multiple lunar surface instrument and technology payloads flying on the 19C CLPS mission. Holly Smith, for outstanding support facilitating Marshall Space Flight Center's inclusion in the Automated Installation Entry System. 
Jonathan Stevens for outstanding performance in coordinating and completing the two-stage cooling initial design review. Samuel Stevens for exemplary leadership of the first core stage hardware turnover and acceptance for the Space Launch System Artemis program. Michael Terry for outstanding technical leadership during the upgrade of the robotic weld tool enabling final machining of critical path launch vehicle stage adapter flight units. Angela Thorin, for exceptional technical contributions in electrical, electronics, and electromechanical parts analysis to the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer project. Byron Williams, for exceptional performance and outstanding support for the Space Launch System's logistic, transportation, and handling activities at the Michoud Assembly Facility. Certificate of Appreciation Honor Award The Certificate of Appreciation Honor Award is awarded to an individual in recognition of an outstanding accomplishment that contributed substantially to the mission of Marshall Space Flight Center. Laura A.G. For Outstanding Resources Management and Customer Support to the Cryogenic Fluid Management Project Office. Cerise Albers for exceptional leadership and commitment exhibited during the establishment of the Satellite Needs Working Group Management Office. Cheryl Alexander, for leadership, integrity, inclusion, and excellence in support of the Moonbeam Team proposal effort. Brian Alford, for outstanding performance in the development of the SLS Block 1B Joint Confidence Level Analysis. Sierra Baffa, for outstanding program and project coordination support within the Science and Technology Office in the areas of Operations, Administrative, and Facility Management. Wendy Blackwell, for exemplary efforts improving organizational function and outreach activities for the five branches composing the Science Research and Projects Division. Patrick Borden, for outstanding leadership team mentoring and contributions to mission success in the field of mass properties engineering. Sean Brechbill, for exceptional dedication and technical expertise demonstrated in the areas of propulsion system filtration and filter design. Lisa Bright, for exceptional contributions to the Space Launch System through leadership provided to the Safety and Mission Assurance Assessment Team in preparation for Artemis I. Teresa Brown, for sustained superior performance in providing cost estimating and analysis support to the Mars Ascent Vehicle Project. Audrey Berg, for outstanding performance in transitioning the Consolidated Program Support Services Project Coordinator Contract. Kamala Corbett, for exceptional support as Organizational Information Technology Manager for the Spacecraft and Vehicle Systems Department. Barry Dinsmore, for exceptional commitment to flight safety in leading the Liquid Engines Office in the execution of the Artemis I Certification of Flight Readiness Reviews. Maria Dunn-Brown, for exceptional leadership of the system's evaluation team in the performance of work across three diverse technical disciplines. Teresa Franks, for exemplary leadership and dedication in providing vital support to accomplish streamlining and ease of availability of the agency human capital and workforce data. Braxton Goodman, for outstanding service and dedication in establishing a reliable and robust fire protection system for Marshall Space Flight Center. Katie Hester, for outstanding dedication to excellence in serving the Mission Systems Integration and Operations Branch and the Payload Mission and Operations Division. Robert Hickman, for outstanding leadership and formulation of the Lunar Environments Technology Objective Laboratory at Marshall Space Flight Center. Kevin Higdon, for exemplary performance serving the Advanced Concept Office Contractor Team and leading successful design studies. Luster Ingram, 
for extraordinary servant leadership in the development of NASA's human spaceflight missions and programs. Kimberly Jackson, for outstanding support and dedication toward customer service and respiratory protection in support of the Space Launch System program. Jeremy Jarrett, for outstanding leadership of diverse Space Launch System systems engineering efforts across multiple vehicle configurations. Stacy Kelly, for exceptional execution of the Payload and Mission Operations Division, Space Launch System Flight Readiness Review, and completing major system and operations updates. Daniel Kirsteins, for exceptional service and support toward managing and integrating environmental, health, and safety management into Marshall Logistics Service operations during the pandemic. Charles Knight, for outstanding coordination of Artemis One SMA Day of Launch Support Preparation Activities and Marshall Space Flight Center Quality Working Group Leadership. Kimberly Linkford, for exceptional dedication and effort in support of Artemis One planning and execution for the Space Launch System Engineering Support Center and its stakeholders. Melissa Lee, for sustained superior performance in support of the Program Planning and Control Capability Improvement Initiative. Kurt McCall, for successful development, testing, and delivery of INSPECT software for the day of launch one loads updates and trajectories for the Space Launch System. Andrew Molthan, for outstanding leadership and technical guidance of the Stakeholder Engagement Program for the Satellite Needs Working Group Project. Danielle Morris, for outstanding support in establishing the management approach for the Lunar Surface Instrument and Technology Payloads projects. William Neighbors, for outstanding leadership in transitioning Marshall Space Flight Center to the Department of the Treasury Standard Form 7600 enabling NASA to meet a critical deadline. Mahmoud Nadiri, for exceptional diligence completing two joint confidence level analysis within one year on the Europa Clipper mission. Misty Nosal, for exceptional leadership in promoting and sustaining the advancement and growth of the Gateway Environmental Control and Life Support Systems Program. Sunny Patel, for exceptional dedication, leadership, and innovative thinking which have made significant contributions to the Starburst Project. Ashley Pierce, for exemplary procurement support to the Business Services and Environmental Engineering Support Branch through improved processes and accelerated procurement timelines. Tracy Prater, for outstanding technical leadership and exceptional outreach efforts in support of the Moon to Mars Exploration Systems and Habitation Academic Innovation Challenge. Jaga Nathan Runganathan, for innovative and unwavering supportive engineering on the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer Mirror Module Assemblies. Gary Robinson, for outstanding contributions and teamwork in support of the Office of Chief Financial Officer, Budget Integration and Analysis Team. Donna Rogers, for outstanding budgetary analysis and customer support to the Commercial Crew Program Manager and Exemplary Initiative, taking on increasingly more complex requirements. Diane Samuelson, for outstanding support in the acquisition of hardware components contributing to mission success across the Science and Technology Office. Randall Silver, for outstanding support to the Office of the Chief Information Officer Budget Integration and Analysis Office. William Sizemore, for outstanding resources management and customer support to the Planetary Missions Program Office. Scott Spearing, for outstanding technical leadership and excellent support to the Gateway International Habitation to the Space Launch Systems Launch Package Manager. Michael Stevens, for exceptional achievements in configuration data management for the Technology Demonstration Missions Program in support of the Space Technology Mission Directorate. Katherine Stevenson Chavis, for outstanding accomplishments and support working across Marshall Space Flight Center Engineering. 
Eric Stewart, for timely and innovative thermal fluids analysis support to the Space Nuclear Propulsion Project. Harold Sullivan, for exemplary work developing requirements and leading integration resulting in successful implementation of the new stowage automation tool. Marcella Sutton, for exceptional leadership and professionalism in the coordination, documentation, and tracking of RS-25 reviews in support of Artemis I. Mignon Thames, for the successful creation of a collaborative work environment resulting in the completion of the Starburst Concepts Study Report and the capture of future work for Marshall Space Flight Center. William Tilson, for outstanding professionalism, leadership, and technical skills in fracture control and additive manufacturing. Jody Turk, for outstanding commitment and leadership to the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover Thermal Vacuum Testing Series. Don Turner, for commitment to excellence in the management, execution, and successful completion of the CO2 conversion challenge that resulted in important technology infusions. Eric Verley, for unrelenting and broad support of the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer mission by enabling every aspect of the XP Science Operations Center. Holly Wales, for exceptional leadership during the Mission Control Center Houston Guarded Moderate event, enabling operations teams to understand and properly restore impacted services. Lisa Watkins, for significant contributions to human landing system program planning and execution activities. Sharif Weber, for exemplary leadership for the next step to Appendix N, Sustainable Human Landing System Studies and Risk Reduction Broad Agency Announcement. Rebecca Williams, for dedicated engineering and invaluable technical expertise to ensure the success of NASA's overall mission related to vibration mitigation control. Jeffrey Wilson, for outstanding work ethic, leadership, and innovation which have made significant contributions to the Solar Cruiser Project. Marshall Innovation Award. The annual Marshall Innovation Awards promote and honor innovation and creativity in the Marshall workforce. It's open to all Marshall civil servants and contractors in all center organizations, both technical and non-technical, and provides recognition to employees who have best exemplified creative and innovative work accomplishments and behaviors during the year. Leslie Allison for creative and innovative solutions in improving the ES50 software development tools and processes. Patrick Baldwin, for outstanding innovations in support of the International Space Station, Lunar Gateway, and other NASA programs. Sarah Bang, for innovative scientific contributions to remote sensing studies, contributing to the award of two new research studies. Bo Blanding, for outstanding innovation in support of the International Space Station and Lunar Gateway payload developer communities. Lauren Fisher, for outstanding research and technology development of radioluminescent coatings. Emily Klee, for outstanding and innovative ideas to improve our on and off-site hybrid work in support of environmental control and life support systems. Timothy Ray, for innovative approaches across multiple flight programs using advanced structural analysis methodologies. MSFC Research and Technology Award. The Research and Technology Award recognizes notable achievements in research and technology development work at MSFC, directly relating to agency and center missions and science needs, which includes hands-on contributions to the success of research and technology development. Roger Allen, for the design and development of a cloud computing-based framework for near real-time data product for the Short-Term Prediction Research and Transition Center. Jarrett Bohm, for advancing an avionics enclosure design that reduces weight and fabrication time and cost through innovative design and fabrication of metal-coated polymer avionics enclosures. 
Jacqueline Davis for pioneering work in optics prescriptions advancing the field of X-ray astronomy. Hector Gutierrez for significant advancement and demonstration of the MSFC developed smartphone video guidance sensor. Omar Mireles for exceptional achievement in the development and application of novel additive manufacturing techniques to enable design advancements for in-space propulsion systems. Group Achievement Honor Award The Group Achievement Honor Award is given in recognition of an outstanding accomplishment which has been made through the coordination of many individual efforts and that has contributed substantially to the accomplishment of the mission of Marshall Space Flight Center. Airborne Instrument Deployment Preparation Team for outstanding efforts in preparing multiple instruments for participation in the IMPACTS Earth Venture Suborbital Field Experiment. Artemis One Hydrazine Service Cart PRT. For exceptional cross organizational teamwork and resolving technical issues with the booster hydrazine system required to meet the critical Artemis One rollout timeline. Bole SRR SDR Development Team. For embracing a cultural change in leading the SLS community through a streamlined and cost-saving approach outlined in the Bole SRR SDR for the future booster design. Booster Productions and Operations Contract Team. For successfully negotiating the Booster Production and Operations Contract Team and helping to bring SLS in line with both greater performance and cost reduction goals. Building 4200 Disposal Team For outstanding support initiating the disposition operation of all the remaining furniture from the closure of Building 4200. Building 4250 Renovation Planning and Design Team For innovative design and collaboration for the renovation of Building 4250 to support the new blended work environment. CLASP 2.1 Team for successful execution of the CLASP 2.1 mission, resulting in the mapping of magnetic effects in the sun's chromosphere, despite challenges imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Core Stage 1 Hardware Acceptance Team For the successful turnover and acceptance of the first new development of the SLS Artemis Program Space Launch System Core Stage. Core Stage Base Heat Shield Cork Combustion Team for outstanding analysis, development, and assessment of thermal environments resulting from cork combustion on the core stage base heat shield. ECLIS 4B CO2 Design and Analysis Team For exemplary design and analysis support on the Environmental Control and Life Support Systems 4-Bed Carbon Dioxide Scrubber. ECLIS Technical Demonstration Team for exceptional support towards the success of ECLIS flight demonstration projects through sustained design, fabrication, and analysis support. EEE Parts Engineering Team For exceptional and in-depth support of the electrical, electronic, and electromechanical parts disciplined to the human landing system and space launch system programs. ET20 Early Career Test Team for outstanding innovation in the planning, design, construction, and operations of new and existing test facilities in the Experimental Fluids and Environmental Test Branch. Facility Upgrade Team For providing support and expertise in retrofitting the Huntsville Operations Support Center for current and future mission operations activities. FEDIS 2 Contract Procurement Team for outstanding effort to develop and implement the Facilities Engineering Design and Inspection Services II contract. FWR Automation Team For exceptional support and customer service and the development and implementation of the automated facility work request process. GO17 GLM Product Validation Review Team for the successful completion of the GOES-17 Geostationary Lightning Mapper Peer Stakeholder Product Validation Review. 
HLS Base Period Fluid Dynamics Team for exemplary performance in supporting 10 HLS collaboration tasks during the base period providing recommendations that improve designs and operations. HLS Diffuser Cracking Mechanism Identification Team For outstanding performance in developing the mechanism and mitigation of the cracking of an HLS pump diffuser. Human Landing System Communication and Tracking Team for significant accomplishments and exemplary leadership shown in executing the InSight mission for the Human Landing Systems Program. Human Landing System Propulsion InSight Team For significant accomplishments and exemplary leadership shown in executing the InSight mission for the Human Landing Systems Program. Hydrogen Sensor Technology Demonstration Team for outstanding contribution to the success of the Hydrogen Sensor Technology Demonstration Development and Delivery. Integrated Logistics and Supportability Team For outstanding leadership in logistics and supportability across programs, resulting in effective and sustainable supportability approaches. ISS FPMU Replacement Support Team for outstanding support in the preparation and real-time execution of the replacement of the Floating Potential Measurement Unit on board the International Space Station. XP Dynamics Test Support Team For extraordinary dedication, ingenuity, and outstanding technical excellence demonstrated in support of the XP Random and Sign Vibration Test. XP Mission Operations Team for dedicated preparation and extraordinary efforts during launch and on-orbit commissioning, leading to successful XB observatory checkout and start of science operations. XB Thermal Vacuum Test Support Team For extraordinary dedication and outstanding technical excellence demonstrated for the on-site support of the XB Integrated Spacecraft Thermal Vacuum Test. Kennedy Space Center Protective Dunes Survey Team for outstanding contributions towards saving costs to the maintenance of critical infrastructure as well as technology development in an area of strategic interest to NASA. LAMS EEE Parts Analysis Team For exceptional support in successfully screening electrical, electronic, and electromechanical parts for the Laser Air Monitoring System at Johnson Space Center. Logistics COVID PPE Supply Team for sourcing, procuring, and supplying critical PPE supplies from across the country to enable Marshall Space Flight Center mission-critical workers a safe and healthy work environment. MAF COVID-19 Response Team For outstanding employee dedication and perseverance ensuring the safety of site personnel at the Michoud Assembly Facility during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mars Ascent Vehicle Propulsion Team for exceptional engineering support on the design and development of the solid rocket motors and reaction control system on the Mars Ascent Vehicle. Mars Ascent Vehicle Systems Engineering Team For providing substantial systems engineering contributions to the Mars Ascent Vehicle through innovation, collaboration, and cross-center integration. Mars Sample Return Vector Test Support Team For exceptional customer support by significantly augmenting the value of Jet Propulsion Laboratory test of key Mars sample return campaign system. Marshall Grazing Incidents X-ray Spectrometer Team For successful execution of the Marshall Grazing Incidents X-ray Spectrometer mission and cutting-edge demonstration of imaging spectroscopy for the sun's corona. ILMAV SRR Planning, Configuration and Data Management Team For exemplary service in planning and executing the Mars Ascent Vehicle Project and Flight Test Program System Requirements Review. Moonbeam Proposal Team For dedicated, innovative, and pioneering teamwork to submit a compelling Moonbeam proposal. Marshall Space Flight Center Building 4200 Deactivation Team for exceptional service and dedication to Marshall Space Flight Center ensuring the successful deactivation of Building 4200. 
Marshall Space Flight Center out an allied employee resource group. For over a decade of activities broadening inclusion and representation of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and allied workforce at Marshall. Marshall Space Flight Center Ring Shared Drop Team. For outstanding accomplishment in incorporating design changes that were needed to modify a system on board the International Space Station to enable key science research. NILM-LS Development Integration and Test Team. For significant contributions to the development, integration, test, and delivery of the neutron measurements at the lunar surface payload. Orion Urine Valve Performance Test Team. For outstanding initiative, innovation, and collaboration in the design, construction, and operation of a new facility to support the vent testing of the Orion Urine Valve. RS-25 LPFTP Inducer Higher Order Cavitation Team For exceptional engineering achievement in removing fatigue life limitations from the RS-25 Inducer. Siemens Digital Environment Team For exceptional support of the model-based design and manufacturing pilots utilizing the Siemens Digital Environment. SLS Bole EEE Parts Team for exceptional engineering support and contributions to the Space Launch System and Booster Obsolescence and Life Extension Program. SLS Core Stage AFBU Test Team. For supporting NASA's mission through successful completion of SLS Core Stage Alternate Flight Termination System Battery Shock and Vibration Testing. SLS PPNC Budget Analyst Team for outstanding accomplishments made through the coordination of the RS-60 team in support of the Space Launch System Program Planning and Control Office. SMA Core Stage ADP Review Team. For exceptional work in the review of Boeing's completed acceptance data package on Core Stage 1. Software Assurance Audit Team. For excellence in the performance of software assurance audits and finding resolutions critical to the mission success of the many Marshall Space Flight Center programs and projects. Space Launch System Procurement Team For providing outstanding Space Launch System contract support, enabling seamless launch support for Artemis 1. Space Launch System Stages Verification Team for overcoming significant challenges, demonstrating exceptional creativity and flexibility that resulted in the successful closure of stages Artemis 1 verification. Starburst Proposal Team For innovative and pioneering teamwork to enable the Starburst mission. State Analysis Model Team for significant achievements in the development of the State Analysis Model in support of the Space Launch System Artemis 1 mission. Telos Test Stand Diffuser Design Team For exceptional engineering achievement in support of the Telos Test Stand Diffuser System. Team Center PDM Process and Implementation Team For outstanding commitment and superior effort in executing the implementation of the new Siemens Team Center Product Development Management System and associated tools. Telling the NASA SLS Story and Protecting Data Team For outstanding performance creating, telling, managing, and protecting data for the media products contained in NASA Space Launch System Program's first launch story. Trek Development and Verification Team For exceptional performance, expediency, and dedication in the development, test, and deployment of the Telescience Resource Kit 5.3.1 software. Vehicle Management Artemis 1 ITCO Support Team For exceptional and dedicated support of Vehicle Management Integration Test and Checkout Activities for the Space Launch System Artemis 1 Mission. Viper Thermal Team and Thermal Test Team For outstanding contributions to Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover Thermal Control System Design and Vacuum Test Series to progress towards system integration. Voluntary Consensus Standards Team 
for exceptional sustained support of NASA's voluntary consensus standards efforts in support of IPC workmanship committees. Marshall Innovation Team Award. The annual Marshall Innovation Awards promote and honor innovation and creativity in the MSFC workforce. It is open to all MSFC civil servants and contractors in all center organizations, both technical and non-technical, and provides recognition to employees who have best exemplified creative and innovative work accomplishments and behaviors during the year. Directives, Plans, and Charter System Team for exceptional creative and innovative development and implementation of the directives, plans, and charters system. Rapid Analysis Manufacturing Propulsion Tech Team. For outstanding work in the advancement of innovative rocket nozzle manufacturing technologies and significant collaboration with industry to implement this technology. Patent Award. The Marshall Space Flight Center patent plaque is given in recognition to inventors who within the past year have had a patent issued by the United States Patent and Trademark Office in support of NASA. For the Debris Tolerant Valve, Christopher Griffith, James Richard. For the Dynamic Management System for a Structure Using Tension and Resistance Elements, Robert Berry, Frederick Gant, Jeffrey Lindner. For the hybrid fuel grain and method for making same, Sadie Boyle, Jessica Chaffin, John Dankinich, George Story, Robert Taylor. For the method of fabricating high permittivity dielectric material, Curtis Hill. Terry Rollin, Dennis Tucker. For the periodic wave disc brake rotor, Jonathan Lee. For the self reacting friction stir welding tool, Joseph Cobb. For the thrust chamber liner and fabrication method, therefore, William C.C. Brandsmeyer, Paul Gradle. Sandra Green, Justin Jackson, Corey Medina, Omar Mirles, Christopher Protz. Invention of the Year The Marshall Space Flight Center Invention of the Year is given in recognition of a recently patented invention which has made the greatest contribution to a NASA program or has had the greatest commercialization success. For the Debris Tolerant Valve, Christopher Griffith, James Richard. For the Sorbent Based Atmosphere Revitalization System, James Knox, Lee Miller. Congratulations to all of our award recipients today. It's remarkable to see everyone's contributions to our missions. And thank you to everyone that made this ceremony happen. It wouldn't be a success without all your hard work behind the scenes. Even though I'd prefer to do this in person, this is still the best part of my job, being able to recognize the great contributions that you make to our Marshall portfolio. You've heard our center director, Jody Singer, say, and you hear it from me, people are the strength of our center. You are the most important part of what we do. Thank you for your dedication, your attitude, your hard work, and your enthusiasm. I know your ingenuity will continue to shine as we enter this exciting time for NASA and for Marshall. You've already accomplished so much throughout this year. I can't wait to see what you can achieve in 2023. Thank you and have a great day.